It almost seems like magic. Sand that glows up when it hits the water surface. It even glows in your hand. On this island in Japan, this rather unusual phenomenon can be observed every summer. If you survive the rather pushy deer, that is. I came across this phenomenon by pure coincidence and absolutely had to investigate. Unfortunately, I was unprepared. I had no bottles to bring samples home. At low tide, I wanted to take an abundant sand sample. But first, I had to procure myself with a suitable vessel. Never ever will I travel unprepared again. When I finally managed to bring the sample to the microscope, I was absolutely stunned. Just look at this. The cause for this ghostly glow is Vargola Hilgendorfi, a marine ostracod about one to two millimeters in length, which in Japanese is called Umihotaru, or sea firefly. It is not hard to see where this name comes from. Vargola is an ostracod living in the sand, and it behaves like sand, swimming only when it needs to. Ostracods are crustaceans that look like clams, just like shellfish, they can retreat into two shell halves that can be sealed for total protection. Unfortunately, their swimming skills suffer quite a bit under the cumbersome armor. Vargula is carnivorous and feeds on sick or dying fish. Within two hours, a swarm of these critters can eat a 30 cm long fish to the bone. When threatened, Vargola secretes a gooey substance containing copious amounts of luciferin and luciferase. When this mixture hits the seawater, the oxygen contained in the water reacts with it, causing an eerie blue. This reaction is basically the same found in glow sticks and fireflies. The blast of light emitted is an obvious deterrent for night predators relying on big, sensitive eyes. Not only predation can trigger this reaction, the release can also be triggered by mechanical and chemical stimuli. Unfortunately, these wonderful creatures are rather threatened. Their number has been dropping significantly. The occurrence of red tides and microplastic in the sea seem to have the biggest negative impact on them. It's time to do something about the plastic in the sea, or also the sea fireflies will walk or rather swim the way of the dodo. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.